Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to part three of the Star Trek Online playthrough. So, in the last episode, we finished the tutorials, and now we can actually start doing the proper missions. Um, we're currently at Earth Space Dock, which looks really cool. All right, so let's have a look. Oh, there's Admiral Janeway still. We have a diplomatic mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. You are to escort Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. Okay. We'll receive experience points, expertise, data. Ooh, photon torpedo launcher. It's got to be worth it for that. Okay. So now we need to go up to our ship, don't we? Because we've got to go to Vulcan. I have actually installed some of those upgrades that we got last time. I'll show you in a minute what I've done. Okay, that took a lot longer than I expected. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've... Um, and thank you for the tips, by the way. So if you press U and I, you can get both things up and you can compare really easily. But I've put an upgraded photon launcher and I've upgraded the aft phases. I've also added... Yeah, we have an, the, I'm pretty sure the EV suit. And I've also added some consoles, I believe, to the ship. And where is he? Coles. Uh He's now got an EV suit as well. So yeah. Okay, so now we need to leave. We need to warp to sector space, don't we? Whoa! Thought he was a Borg then. Hey, that was like the crystalline entity. What's that doing there? <laughs> Hope it's not coming to Earth. My friend sacrificed so much to secure peace with the Klingons. I bear the responsibility for the consequences to him and his crew. A thought that troubles me to this day. The hope was that this alliance would last forever. It did not. The Klingons have chosen war. The Federation is doing its utmost to protect its borders and the Ooh. billions of innocents who call this space home. But I fear that this conflict may be our undoing. Mm, so, Leonard Nimoy. That's cool. I've also heard as well, somebody mentioned that in the last mission, the EMH on one of the ships was actually played by, oh, what's his name, Zachary Quinton? The guy who plays Spock in the new movies. It was actually him voicing that. I didn't pick up on that. That's cool. Oh, we're almost there. That's quick. I do seem to have memories of playing this game and spending 10 minutes trying to travel to places. So do we just enter the system? Oh, there's Pajem. We're in the Vulcan system. Hmm. Maybe we're not quite in. Oh, they are big suns if they're that far away. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the Ambassador to Pajem. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Call Wreck holiday. He will be done soon, but the Ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. His bias against the transporters is not logical, but I have come to accept it. I believe that Soketh would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. Fair enough. Oh, so we have Shuttlecraft. Okay. I wonder if we get to... Ooh, that's a nice looking Shuttlecraft. Is it cutscene time? Starfleet yep. Shuttlecraft. This is Vulcan Orbital Control. You are cleared to land at the requested coordinates. Welcome to Vulcan. 
please enjoy your stay. I could do with a clean, couldn't I? Okay. So this is Vulcan. Very deserty. Now I wonder if the reason why Vulcan looks like this is because they had um, their own sort of world war, didn't they? Where they used nuclear weapons. That's why it's all ruined. I need to go up here. Yes, yeah, so we've got this thing called Target Optics, so it causes more damage when you use it. I'm looking forward to using that. Oh, here we go. Captain, I regret to inform you that we have come to an impasse in completing your mission. Allow me to explain. As you know, Pajem is sacred to the Vulcan people, and access to it is strictly prohibited. Ordinarily, this would not present any difficulty, but Savin, the leader of the order that maintains the monastery, has chosen this moment to illogically refuse to grant Ambassador Sokov permissions to meet with the abbot at the gem. This is most abnormal. The ambassador has considered going to the council to request that they overrule Savin, but the process will take time that he simply does not have. If the Ambassador is unable to complete his journey to Bajem now, he will have to delay it until after the trade conference at Korodan is complete. And that could take weeks. The Ambassador, I'm afraid, has spent too much time off-world. I have seen it change him. His interactions with other species have grown easier over the years, but our own people have become more challenging for him to deal with. Perhaps you could speak to Savin. I know he has a great deal of respect for Starfleet, and you might have an easier time than he has in convincing him to grant the Ambassador's request. Interesting. Well, there he is, but... Oh, hang on. Peace and long life. Do you seek knowledge of the Ancestors? Sarketh accuses me of abandoning logic, but he is the one refusing to explain his reasons for wanting to go to Pajem. The planet is sacred. Our ancestors walked those paths. They found understanding and serenity in its quiet. When I am at Pajem, I feel more at peace than any place else in the galaxy. Pajem has been touched by outside influences in the past. The Federation is at war. Now, more than any other time, we must protect this refuge. Do you seek knowledge of the ancestors? Mm. I neither trust him nor distrust the ambassador. I simply do not understand him. He will not reveal his reasons for wishing to speak to the abbot, and has refused a mind meld with me. Normally, I could respect his privacy, but other things I have heard trouble me do you seek knowledge of the ancestors ah. okay so they highlight the one they want you to you click that's good. to me on your honor as a starfleet officer that you will protect pajem from harm soketh says his reasons for wanting to speak to the abbot are private i will accept that but only if you are with him i know i can trust starfleet please protect Pajem from any who would violate its sanctity. Hmm, he seems like the most un-Vulcan Vulcan I've ever spoken to. At least in a video game. Welcome to Vulcan. Do you have any questions? Excellent. Our departure has been delayed long enough by the whims of one man. I am prepared for the journey and can leave immediately. Okay, so... Uh, doing his uh, Vulcan goodbye and hello or is it goodbye hmm. so I think we're going back to the shuttle now I 
hope everyone's having a good holiday, uh, Christmas break. If you're watching this in the summer, that's not aged well at all, but... Yeah, so we're going back to the shuttle. Ah, neat. Starfleet shuttle prep. We have logged your flight trajectory. Hope we're not taking off without him. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Would the Vulcans really trust Starfleet that much? I know they have people who join Starfleet, but I don't know. Never known of Vulcans to be that way. Return to the bridge. Ooh. Here we go. I'm not sure what speed this ship can go. Warp speed. Isn't it like warp six or something? Your inventory has a replicator that will allow you to buy and sell items. Press I to open your inventory. Replicator. Oh, I see. So you can actually replicate stuff. That's pretty neat. Right, so now we need to go to Pajem. I am looking forward to getting to the Will Wheaton missions. I'm sorry, I can't call him Wesley Crusher anymore. It's Will Wheaton. <laughs> it's Big Bang Theory. It's just wrecked it for me. Ooh. An unusual energy thing. Oh, that's weird. What's that? Oh, hang on a second. Oh, at least it's not the Romulans for a change. What? I've got to fight this some Klingons. Captain Katak to all Klingon vessels. Target their warp drive. There will be no escaping our vengeance this time. Lovely. So we've got evasive maneuvers. Yeah, great, it's losing power, but surely we should destroy the thing. Or is that not the Starfleet way? I forget. Yeah, the photon torpedo upgrade is definitely noticeable. shapeshifter aboard your vessel. They have died with honor. But if I am to die this day, then I would prefer to regale the halls of Stovalkor with the tale of that foul creature's death. Ha! So even the mighty Federation has been fooled by the beast. Your guest from Vulcan is not as he or she seems, Captain. They are an undine. They put on a false face and try to control us, but we cling on. They're not no shapeshifters. Better. We will hunt them down until the last hmm. of these honors. Mind you, they were able to pretend screaming. to be Starfleet Academy once. Proof? Pa! Allow me to stick a blade in its belly while I look it in the eye while it dies. That should be proof enough, even for Starfleet. <laughs> If you wish the honor of the kill yourself, then it is yours to have. 
So long as the Undine dies, I will meet my death with eyes wide open and victory in my heart. I await your decision. Close Haley frequencies! Hmm. Science, tactical, or engineering? Probably science. Hmm. Patience is growing thin, Captain. If you lack the stomach to slay the beast aboard your vessel, then any Klingon here would gladly do it for you. I'd hate for you to stain that pretty Starfleet uniform with Undine blood. <laughs> then the beast is slain? Makka! Very good. Perhaps you've the heart of a warrior after all. Let me look upon our enemy, and tonight we will dine together as warriors and drink to the honored dead! This almost feels like it's turning into an episode of Lower Decks. Captain, I take my meditations very seriously. Why have I been summoned to the bridge? Alive? You're a fool, Captain! Strike now before it's too late! You want proof? Then lower your shields and allow me to beam over. Once the Undine's blood coats my blade, you'll see it for what it truly is. A grint hound in Tark's clothing. There's no need, Captain. The situation is not difficult to unravel. My concern lies in the logic of you entertaining this Klingon's meritless claim. A most illogical conclusion. Allow us to examine the facts, Captain. You have a crippled Klingon vessel, whose captain has made unsubstantiated claims that I am an Undine, a species that is known to both the Federation and the Klingon Empire as a considerable threat. Potentially, but only if a great many other factors were to be true. Is it not much more likely that the Klingons have, in the face of defeat, instead sought to exploit Starfleet's desire for peaceful resolutions to conflict in order to repair their vessel and renew their assault. Mm. A what? true warrior strikes without mercy, Captain. So that was a ruse, the whole thing. I teach you this lesson personally before the Undine dies. Oh, fair enough. We may not be able to best your vessel, but a Klingon knows many roads to victory. The beast may have evaded my vengeance for now, but I can still ruin its plans here at Pajem. Great. Uh oh. A wise precaution. Though I admit I am eager to see my people safe, I will await word until the monastery is secured. And Captain. Let not my journey here be for naught. Okay. What? A wise I just said this. Alrighty. So, an away mission. Probably going to involve a lot of uh, shooting. I think we need the phaser rifle. Yeah. 
Ooh, a flanking bonus. But I cling on. Was a Klingon. So do we just shoot every Klingon that we see? Fair enough. I'm not even trying to fight back. Oh, so Pajem. This was in an episode of Enterprise, I believe. In fact, isn't this the one where the Andorians suspected that the Vulcans had a listening base and it turns out the Andorians were actually telling the truth? That was actually quite funny. What does this do? Ooh! Have a grenade. There we go. Mm, so we got some monuments here from the looks of it. What's in here? Power cell and a shield charge. Okay. We'll take it. More Klingons. Let's throw a grenade. It's gonna hurt them. Yep, yeah, there we go. Wow. And that's how you deal with that. Wow. Take items. Ooh. So, does that mean Yep. It's actually better than the one we've got. Thank you, Klingon Warrior. New respawn point unlocked. Oh gosh, I remember that now. So on some of these missions, eventually, this was like 10 years ago, but I think you die like 50 times and you end up going to one spot, so that'll be that. Uh oh. Wow, that phaser can shoot sideways. Uh oh. I can roll. There we go. Have we got him? We got him. I have terrible news. Vulcan security forces have discovered the body of Ambassador Soka. Whoops. They have determined that he was <laughs> killed by a phaser blast at short range. Oh dear. His remains were discovered in a stasis chamber hidden in a cavern beneath the ambassador's residence. The ambassador on your ship, the one that I have been working for, is an imposter. Uh oh, so the Klingons were telling the truth. Whoops. This imposter was able to fool Sokka's closest associates for months. He is crafty and very patient. Now that he has been discovered, he will be dangerous. Well, can we not just, like, not tell him? Uh-oh. Is he going to be in the temple, perhaps? Oh, there he is. Such emotion on your face. I see now my deception has been exposed. Pity. Capturing the abbot so we could replace him as well would have been beneficial. But we are strong. We will prevail. Mm. You are the weak, and the weak shall perish. Oh man. That's not good. I don't think the Vulcans know what we're dealing with here. Is this going to be a boss fight? I think it is. What am I doing? There we go. Phases aren't working. Have a grenade.
Why is my rifle not working? What have I done? Ah! So yeah, it looks like we'd actually killed him and that's why I couldn't shoot him anymore. Uh oh, Undyne. If we target their torpedoes... Uh -huh. Okay, well, I can't really... Oh boy. Okay. Let's reinforce the forward shield if we can. So I think I'm defensive. Yep, there we go. I don't really think there's much I can do until the reinforcements arrive. Oh man, yeah, of course they've got their beam, haven't they? What's that? Ooh! -hoo. Powerful. Yeah, it's just a case of waiting for reinforcements. Oh, here we go! It's the end. No, it's not. <laughs> if only it was the Enterprise. Ah, but which Enterprise would it be? Wow, that thing is tough. That thing is really tough. Although, looking at its shields, it's taking a bit of a pounding. Oh, I like that ship. That's a galaxy class from the looks of it. Yep. It's regenerating. I suppose being organic, that makes sense. I think this is like our first proper boss fight. I know we had the board cube, but we had a lot of help with that. I'm gonna change my weaponry to attack. Oh wow, okay. That should be draining the shield, and it is. Yeah, that's good. They weren't kidding when they said Species 8472 were uh, tricky to deal with. So yeah, this very much feels like Starfleet Command combat. The game. Oh, what's this? Looks like they've put something on me here. Three percent. Wow. Whoa, there we go. Bye bye. 
It almost looks a bit like a Kazon ship. Wow. This is Captain LaForge of the hey. USS Challenger. Glad to see we made it here in time to lend you a hand. Perhaps you'll return the favor someday. LaForge out. Oh, now that's interesting. Because I remember in that one episode of Voyager. Oh, what was it called? It was the 100th episode when Harry and Chakotay ended up... The ambassador oh was an Undine? I'm afraid their infiltration of the Federation goes much deeper than we realized. Who knows what kind of havoc they could create? Ooh. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You have just earned your first skill points. Click here to learn more. Skills will increase your effectiveness in both space combat and ground combat. Select any skill to see a full description of the benefits gained by purchasing it. Every space skill costs one space point to purchase, while every... Okay. Right, okay, well, I'll do that one first. Yeah, as I was saying, um, that was cool seeing the Forge on a Galaxy-class ship, because we saw that in Voyager, didn't we? When Chakotay and Harry Kim got back to the Alpha Quadrant and the rest of Voyager didn't. Right, okay, let's see. I've received a report Next mission. there is a Bolian freighter that is overdue arriving at Earth space dock. It may need assistance. So we have to find a missing ship. Okay. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between Okay, so what I'm going to do first is we got some upgrades in that last mission. Somewhere. Hmm. Ah, right, okay. So ha, that's why. So we can actually upgrade. Oh, part of me is so tempted to swap that for a photon torpedo, but I don't think that'd be the best thing to do. So, swap you, and a shield. Where do you go? The item does not go here. Oh, of course, there it goes. Duh, on the shield. <laughs> right. <laughs> yep. And they've got a shield. Oh, so they all come with shields. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll give you that. To beam back to your ship. We are in our ship. Right, so now we need to go and try and find the missing ship. Here we go. Warp speed. However fast this goes. I'm not sure how fast it's going. Being a Miranda class, probably not very fast. I'm sure you could upgrade it though. So this is a map of all of the sectors. I imagine you need a pretty fast ship to get to these sides, otherwise it'll probably take like an hour to travel there. So we're in the Vulcan sector again. Any ships Ooh. in range. This is Dana Brot of the transport SS Azura. Please help. Warp core containment field down. Radiation flooding ship. Communications and life support failing. Cannot eject warp core. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. Okay, so they obviously need help. To any ships in range. This is Dana Brot of the transport SS. Oh, I just realized something. If we do this, will it make any difference? Does it not work like that in sector space? Okay. 
Don't crash. Oh, crikey. Right. <laughs> Stranded in space. To any ships in range, this is Dana Brot of the transport SS Azura. Please help. We're being pursued by Orion Raiders. Orion injured. Taking heavy fire. This feels very Dropping much out of like stuff you command. Coordinates. Need immediate evacuation and assistance. Please help us. The Orions. They always cause trouble, don't they? Space pirates. Mm, crikey. Surely, like, a Galaxy-class ship would be better for this. Well, I'm doing one better than the next generation here, because normally they try hailing them four times, and then they get fired on three times. Worf says the shields are down. And then finally they say, oh, I know, let's try firing back. How many times was Wolf ignored? Wow, that was dramatic. Have we got them? Oh, one of these. One of these. I'll take it. Oh, they're under attack still. I didn't notice. Yeah, I've got power diverted to weapons here. Thought like, because we're trying to rescue them, so speed is of the essence. I don't really think that much threat to us either. They've gone behind there. That's cheeky, isn't it? Come on. Whoa. Alright. Let's beam over. I'm assuming we're gonna have to deal with some Orion pirates, but you never know. Okay. Shooter mode and RPG mode. Oh Okay. Captain, I'm concerned about the radiation on the Azura. She might have some damage to the warp core, but our sensors can't pick up enough to determine exactly what you'll find over there. I'm sure I can send oh. you and the away team to the ship safely, but getting you back might be a problem until the Azura's critical damage is repaired. Step on the transporter pad when you're ready to go, and be careful, sir. I thought we were on the Azura. Whoops. Yes, I just accidentally shot someone. Oh well. I'm the captain. <laughs> no, we never show that happening, do they? Accidentally firing the weapon by accident. Whoops, I did it again. Oh gosh, this brings back memories. I remember this. So we can use the console to stop the leak, I'm assuming. Yep. Thug.
Well, a bomb was going to go off then. Hmm. So how can we get around? Ah, okay. Nope, I'm not a scientist, so sorry, you're just going to have to die. I can't save you. Surely we could beam them back? Oh, of course, she said there was a problem with the transporters. Oh, look at that! That's cool. Ooh, what's this? Small hypro. Oh, one of these, one of these. Seriously, three seconds. Hey, we actually did it. What do we get? Geranium. Hmm. I'm assuming that can be used as some sort of currency. What's this? Right, so we should have stopped. Yep. Stop the leak. the warp core. Ah! Oh wait, they're on my side. <laughs> this is why you need to have years of training to fire a phaser rifle. I just shot someone on my own team. Oh! Wait, is this one of those puzzle things? Yep, it is. We don't have time for this! It's like there's one aliens who kept bringing that game on board and everyone was playing it. Alright. We hid an Orion ambush on our way to K7. We lost our weapons almost immediately, and then we took a direct hit near engineering. Our warp engine's magnetic antimatter containment field failed. We had no choice but to drop shields and use the power to try to stabilize the containment field. As soon as the shields were down, Orion's boarded the ship! Yeah, they'll do I'll that. I'll never let those green pirates have the Azura. Please, take my crew to safety. I'll keep trying to stabilize the warp core. If I'm lucky, I can buy you some time. Okay. So we've got to take him to... Uh-oh, what's this? An ambush, perhaps? Oh gosh. Klingons! They just never go away, do they? That's what I. Uh oh. Alright. Oh, I thought it was going to bounce back and hit us. Did we get him? Has given us a chance for glorious combat. Ah, so we can fire dual beams, that's cool. Okay. Ah, oh, rats. So you're telling me we could have used... Okay. What? Oh, I'm in that, um... Tactical mode. Rats. How do I get out of that?
Seriously, why won't it let me... Is it because I'm in tactical mode? Right. Okay, so I'm out of tactical mode. It was B. <laughs> um, return to Af Cargo Bay. Yet that is highlighted. I'm quite confused here. Okay. Yeah, see? Do we need to go in here? Is that what it is? No? I'm assuming we just go back to where we beamed in, but I don't know. Ah! I imagine there's people screaming now at the screen, saying, No, no, go this way, go this way! If only I could hear you. Ah, there we go. For a second there, I thought they were going to be baddies and they were going to take over the ship. Alright, oh, we need to use the transporter. Oh. Transporter's this way according to the mini-map. Yep. Beam out. Hey, they went on the transporter pad. Can we get to the bridge? Okay. It looks like I missed an accolade with that tactical console, which has annoyed me a little, because it would have been cool to see the Klingons get defeated with that. We did it the hard way. The Klingon way. We are taking this ship, her crew, and her cargo. I'm feeling this is going to turn into... A battle? Wow. More. Oh gosh, a Negva. Okay, that's serious. Do I try talking to them or not? Oh, uh, no, okay. That's how we talk in Klingon. We can't possibly take on a Negvar. Surely. Oh, apparently we can, okay. Wow. I'll tell you what, these Miranda class ships <laughs> they're more powerful than the Sovereign classes. Well, we did defeat a Borg cube almost single-handedly, didn't we, with one? Wow! I can honestly say, I never thought I would see a Miranda class take down a Negvar. There you go, nothing surprises me anymore. Okay... Rescue Captain Brot. Oops. Attempting to get a transporter lock on Captain Brot, sir. Boosting containment. Uh oh. Whew. Just in the nick of time. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. The Azura was a transport ship, best in the quadrant. Mostly I hauled medical supplies or farming equipment, but I had room in the cargo bays for a little of everything. 
I have one customer who is just crazy for Tranya. Tranya? What's that? I don't save the galaxy on a regular basis like you Starfleet types do, but hauling cargo is a good way to make a living. I'm helping people in my own way. You saved my crew. I'll tell you whatever I can. Q Winter's Wonderland, what was that? Alright, so we need to hail Starfleet. Hail well oh, done. There we go. You saved that crew just in time. And we get our rewards. So shield Ooh, goody. So we'll be able to um, go a bit faster, won't we? Congratulations, Lieutenant. Right. Upgrade. Starfleet has lost contact with the Federation Science State. That's the next mission. Um so let's do the ship upgrades. We've got... Uh, why is that one green? So we have an enhanced shield array. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. And most importantly, we've got an enhanced warp core. So now going through sector space should be quicker, from what I remember. And also it says in brackets, sector speed. So yeah, great. Did we get any upgrades for the people? Mm. I think that's slightly enhanced, is it? Oh, I see. It's one of those. So, so yeah, I mean, the, the one on the left does have quite a few things. Ah, I'm going to try it. I don't know if we can give... Yeah, we can. So we can share it out to the away team, can't we? And we're in sector space. Yeah, cool. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I'll leave it there now. And I'm intending to post three videos a week of this. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas holidays. And bye for now.